What's happening, everyone? It's me, Kiki Solano, welcoming you to BYUSN right now. We've got yet another big weekend with some big games as well. A couple home winning streaks on the line. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. A new season starting up. And who are your BYU All-Stars? I'll show you some of mine. Let's go. Wow, our girls on campus are getting us ready for the weekend with some weekday dubs. Let's begin with number 20 BYU women's basketball who took down LMU 77-254 yesterday at home. Shaylee Gonzalez dropped a game-high 19 points. Paisley Harding right behind her with 18. And Sarah Hampson had nine points of her own, including this third quarter buzzer beater. Tried to flip it to Hampson. Oh my goodness! An unorthodox alley-oop layup. This dub puts the girls at 29 straight wins at home. Hopefully, they can make it 30 straight in a big one over Gonzaga tomorrow. Guys, when I say this is a big game, I mean it. Both teams are currently tied at 12-1 in conference play. And the winner will get a one-game lead for the regular season title going into the final week before WCC tourney play. And like I said, long home game win streak on the line. And it's senior day. Oh, and did I mention it's a blackout? Better see y'all there wearing black. As for some of our other girls, BYU softball extended their win streak to seven in the Stanford Invitational. They started things off with a 4-3 win over Stanford and then had an 8-5 comeback win over San Jose State. The momentum continued as they got the dub over Illinois Chicago today. Hopefully they can continue that and get another dub over Seattle tomorrow. That's not all we've got going on tomorrow. We have yet another big one coming from the basketball court. This time it's BYU men's basketball taking on St. Mary's in Moraga. Now, that's a tough place to play, you guys. In fact, BYU is only 3-9 playing at St. Mary's. Not only that, but the Gales bring a 16-game home win streak into the matchup. They also have the ninth best scoring defense, holding their opponents to 59.7 points per game. But you know what? We have something they don't. Alex Barcelo. Do I really have to remind you guys that not only is he coming off a career best 33 points, but he also just shot nine of 10 from three. For those of you who struggle with math, <clears throat> me that's 90 percent from three so not to state the obvious but that is pretty dang good duh good luck to ab and the rest of the team tomorrow but enough of tomorrow let's get to today number 19 byu gymnastics is hosting number 23 suu tonight in the smith field house as for number 13 byu men's volleyball the guys are out on the road where they will play number six uc santa barbara tonight and tomorrow. We also have our Batcats who opened up their season in the Snowbird Classic today. Unfortunately, the guys fell to Indiana State today. Hopefully though, they can turn it around in their doubleheader against Marshall tomorrow. Needless to say, there's a lot going on this weekend, especially if you include everything happening with the NBA All-Star Weekend. That got us thinking, we've had some great hoopsters here at BYU. Who would some of our All-Stars be? Thanks for hanging out with me on BYUSN right now. Go give us a follow. And I'd like to think that you would vote for me for All-Star Weekend, you know, for social media host. But for real, go to our story and vote Team B for the tug of war. It's my team. Go vote. Bye, guys. <laughs>